Hey guys, and welcome back to Clock Tower 2. When we last left off, we were about to burn the statue. Although, I'm not quite sure why we don't have the statue. I'm pretty sure I saved it in the right place. However, maybe not. Let's go grab up our statue, shall we? Whilst my phone goes absolutely batshit. Let's mute you, you silly thing. Now, ah yes, we might have to go do this bit again. God damn it. Never mind. So, we can get one of the endings here. Which is actually the final ending that we can get in this particular section. So, let's go do that. Okay, come on Alyssa. Let's do this. I think she's called Alyssa. I forget her name. Yeah, there we go. Ah, uh, we have to talk to the old man. All right, Philip, looks like you've had a bit of a mischief. Right, we can skip. At least we can skip the stuff. This is so cool. I'm so glad that we can skip the stuff. All right, give me that. Excelente. Right, now we know we must go and burn the statue, which obviously must happen at the um, fireplace. I mean, sure, right? Where else would you burn a statue to? A solid gold statue, I might add. Not really sure how that's going to work. But I guess we're going to find out. Hmm. Actually, before we do this, we need to save it. Like so. A little bit long. Yeah, right. It's, now we're all sorted. Let's go burn us up a statue. Give me... Nope. Give me that. Well, here we go. Right, you little bitch. You ain't gonna stop me this time. Go on, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. Must burn the statue. Yes, Alyssa, we are burning the statue if you'd actually move your ass. Um, statue burning? There we go, there's that. Right, oil can. Don't mind us, creepy young girl. We're just gonna pull this out of our ass and just fill it with fuel. That's fine. I'm going Ooh. to kill you. Are you now? Oh. Just give up. Okay. Oh. Oh, fuck you, bitch. Hey, you little shit. What good is it gonna do to burn that? <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking hell. That's the way I do it. Well now. Well that's kind of nice and easy. <laughs> or, you know, maybe not. Well, that's that. Okay, so I guess that's ending... Is it J? <laughs> yes, yes, laugh it up, You're you bitch. Crazy. You know, there's a lot of like fourth wall breakage, breakage. Oh, I butchered that breakage in this game. For a start, like these end screens, just I don't know, man. Hmm. Ending I. Okay, that's cool. Right. Okay. Now let's go do that properly, shall we? Once more with feeling. I'm not sure, like, how the um, necklace comes out of our inventory there. It's kind of strange. So if we're going to destroy the artifact already, how does the curse continue, I wonder? Yeah, because look, we've got the amulet in our inventory. And it must fly out of our inventory somehow. Maybe during the struggle of life and death. <gasps> yes, yes, yes. How on you little bitch. Alright, we're just gonna continue I loading the fire. Burn the statue. We're gonna burn the statue, don't you worry about that. Don't you worry about that at all. all right. Come on. Come on. There we go, there's that. Just grab this giant oil can out of thin air. 
Like so. And then the lighter. <laughs> I love that. I love the fact that she just... I'm going to kill you. Yes, yes, yes. Very droll. I love the way she just pulls that out of nowhere. Right. Uh, now what we've got to do here... What good is it going to do to burn that? <laughs> Who the hell are you talking to? I guess he's talking to us. That's the way I do it. Right. Grab that. I'm not sure what... Okay, so we're now going to... Amulet! Gonna... Protect me! Uh... <laughs> Okay. I don't know what's happening here because I've never done this. Ooh. The fuck? Stephanie, I'm sorry. And then we pass out as well in front of the fire. So it is a curse. So is Stephanie dead, or did we exercise her demons? I have no idea. I have really no idea what the hell that was about. Ooh. Oh. Are you okay? Alex Corey, Monterey County Police. Don't have to talk. Okay. Place? Memorial Hospital. I got a call from Tate's wife. When I went inside, I found you and a girl laying on the floor. I carried you out here. You hero. Stephanie, how is she? She was badly injured, but she'll be okay. Yeah, she She's not going to die. She had like a knife through her. What was that? Uh, well, we are in a hospital, I suppose. Screams of the dying are kind of common, I would have thought. So, this is chapter two, Noisy Monsters Cage. <laughs> what name for a chapter? I mean, we've had Yellow Doll or whatever. And now Noisy Monsters Cage. Uh, okay. Right, so we are going to save it here. Um, now, as... From what I can understand, admittedly, I probably should do more research than I have. But from what I can understand, um, there are no endings on this chapter. Because you've got three chapters. You've got the first one, which we've just done. Milk that one dry. And you've got this one. And then you have the final chapter. But it's only the the first chapter and the third chapter that have endings. So and I, and I don't know if anything we do in this chapter influences the endings. I know it does in the first game, uh, in the first mission, but I don't know about this one. So anyway, so we're in a hospital. Kind of makes sense. Not sure how Stephanie survived. I mean, we stuck a pretty. Bloody good, let's be honest. Oh, we found a key. Alright. And I have a cat being a pain in the ass down there. So, what's that key for? A drawer key. Well, that could be for damn near anything. Hmm. Well, everything seems normal. Right, so I'm guessing because she's saying, well, everything seems normal. I'm guessing we can put our There's amulet in there. In here I can use. Maybe that's a hiding spot? Or can we put our amulet in there? There's nothing in here I can use. We can't put our amulet in there. Can we put our amulet in there? Now, again, we... Well, everything seems normal. I guess not. Okay. So we're going back to trial and error here, kids. 
So that looks about all we can explore here. Let's get out of here. Let's see what all the screaming malarkey is about. Hmm. Well, kids, this is about as basic as it gets. Room 103. Okay, so we're in 103. And this is a dead end. Oh my god, like for a 1998 PlayStation release, this really is as bare bones as it gets. I guess this is 104. Yeah. Alright, well, let's have a little gander in 104. So, I guess Stephanie's not going to be chasing us around, because we've like exercised her demons. So, ooh. And this is the same room. I mean, it looks the same room anyway. But is there actually anything here? So we can search the two lockers. Everything seems normal here. Okay. Could you elaborate, Alyssa? Uh, just a little bit? You say everything seems normal, but to what end? Everything is normal. Okay. I mean... Surely you could just say, it's fucking empty, mate. That'd make a whole lot more sense. But then the translation in this game is very, very ropey. As we've seen. So, what's this one? Oh, this one has, like, a different symbol. That we can't look at. It's so weird, like, it's very inconsistent. Oh! Oh! Are we in, like, another corridor? Because it looks exactly the same. No, we... Didn't go through the door. Ah, because it's locked. Okay, and we've got a drawer key. I'm guessing we can't open that door with a drawer key. That would be madness, mate. Ooh. I'm guessing this is an exit. Ah, it is an exit, but it's an exit that we can use. Oh. Hello. Evening. Oh, evening. Oh. The fuck is... What is that? Is that a zombie? Or... Can they follow us through? Oh shit. I... What? Well that was like unexpected. Oh fuck, okay I guess they can. Can we kill the zombies? Is this, like, the zombie man that's going to, like, follow us through the whole level? What the fuck was that about? So, Mr. Green Man... Looks more like a Martian than a zombie, if you ask me. So, he, like, evaporates when you hit them. Right. Okay. Oh. And now there's a bloke here. The fuck? You found a pistol, but left it where it is. Why? Do we have to be bait to pick up pistols? Sure, game. Well, why not? Why, why not? Hi there, buddy. Can you explain, like, the green Martian zombie thing? Who the hell? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to yell so loud. Right. It's okay. He looks like I'm a not stick. Hurt you. I'm just a newspaper reporter. Newspaper reporter? I'm Doug Bowman. That's what Pleasure he said. I'm going to poke around a bit more. 
folk around? <laughs> Don't you know? There's a big story here. A whole lot bigger than I thought. See ya. Could you, like, elaborate a little bit, mate? Is that got something to do with the little green men walking around? Little green... Like, what is even... Like... I don't even know... What to say about that weird little green man thing. <sighs> George Maxwell? Hmm. Is that it? You're just, like, gonna read that bit and no shit's given well all right so why can't we take the gun all right i guess i don't know if we're gonna have a killer chase us though or if it's just gonna be that like zombie dude uh, let's go back into the hall because there was like an elevator there. Let's see if we can go down the elevator. I don't want to start searching everywhere. Let's start. Oh. Guess that's our zombie friend back. Can't go through there. No, that's a different one. So, I guess this place is just infested with zombies. Okay, so the hall we started in is completely like locked down. We can't do anything in there. The little, well, the green men, <laughs> the green men, can follow us. Ooh, talking about the green men. We found that dismembered uh, green doll thing in the house in the last episode. I mean, that was like what it was all about, really. So, and there's nothing here we can. Ah, oh, god damn it! Guessing we can't just no, we can't just like run past because that would be too easy. What the fuck was that? Uh, <laughs> Alright, so Mr. Frogman can stay in here. We're gonna, like, walk on. Slowly walk on. Let's try this door. I guess the Frogman's gonna follow us. Um... So the music's still playing. Ah, I guess we can use this to defend ourselves. <sighs> I just, I, I don't even, what the fuck is this, honestly? Go on, make the frogman evaporate. There we go. <laughs> oh my god. And then, like, he shrivels up and disappears, but she still leaves the room. Why? That's just irritating. Oh, man. That's actually amazing. Like, I, I don't know what to say about that. Little... Oh. Does this mean everyone's panicked? Uh, maybe. But there's like... There's a frog woman on the floor there. Is she going to get up? I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of our amulet. Ah, right. Okay, so now we've got rid of the amulet. Let's go get a gun. We can go through there. And look at that as well. What's that? Here it is again, George Maxwell. Who is George Maxwell? I have no idea. But we do know something about a Maxwell curse. So, you know. Now, 
Are these zombies um, predetermined or do they just randomly spawn? If they randomly spawn, that's going to be a bit arsey. Now, where was the pistol? Was it in this room? I wish we could get a map. Now, technically, I could print a map out. Actually, that might not be a terrible idea. Ah, the pistol was in here. I don't know why there's like a handgun here. Oh, we found the first aid kit. Why? Why do we... Okay. I don't... Bad game design. One. Well, that's this game's MO. It's just awfully made. All round. Okay. So we can't pick up the handgun. Or can we? Let's see if we can, like, step on this woman. And see if she will... Do something. They're all dead. Uh, she looks quite green, to be honest. Oh, no. Pure, pure terror. What's happening here? Well, she's a zombie. That took us, that took health. Why are we not bait? Because we got attacked. Surely we should now be bait. Here she comes, right. Let's take her down here. I still don't know like how this works. If you don't have the amulet and you get scared, you're supposed to become bait. And how do we lose health from her grabbing our, our ankle? <sighs> and nothing in here to defend ourselves with. Gee, if only we could pick up, I don't know, the fucking handgun. Ugh. <sighs> Right, we're going to take another hit to our health here, but... Oh, no, we're not. Okay, so it is possible to walk around these guys. But we're not going to turn into bait unless we stop and fight that thing. Ah, man. This game, guys. This game. Like, honestly. It's so bad. Oh. Guess female toilets? Hopefully there's not going to be another zombie in here. If we, like, bump into two zombies, we're in trouble. Okay. I don't know what that is. But I guess we're going to use it. resilient of zombies, are they? I mean, there's certainly not the T-virus here. So... Oh, there's another zombie in here. Damn. So... Is it... Yeah, so it's going to follow us no matter where we go. Okay, so if you just step into a room with a zombie, I'm guessing it instantly knows where you are. Fuck. Can we become bait, please? Yes, there we go. Right, cool. Now we're kind of... Don't go through the door. Not that door. Oh, this is so annoying. Right. Now, through this door, don't be outside, good. Now, hopefully, now we're bait, we can pick up the handgun. We're probably going to want to be bait for as, as much of this as possible. Although, we only get five bullets in the handgun. But that's better than taking, like, damage. See, the damage system kind of worked in the first game. Because Thank you. 
Yeah, so you do have to be bait to pick up a handgun. Why? It's like they had loads of, like, ideas to change the formula of the game up, but none of them really knew what they were doing. Like, they didn't have a clue what they were doing. Can we? Oh. Notice the zombie didn't... Didn't actually die. That's bad. Okay, so did we have a look in this room? We had a look in that room. I think. Right, so that's this place kind of like tapped out. We can't exit. We badly need health. So the handgun doesn't wait. Oh fuck, yeah. So the handgun doesn't kill the zombie. But hitting it with like a teapot does. Please explain. Consistency, motherfucker. <laughs> Come on. Come to mama. There we go. Oh. So, like... Yeah. Why did she leave the room? When you shoot. Is the zombie still going to be in here? Yeah, so... We can't get past this zombie then. Unless they take... X amount of hits? And now she's gonna... Oh! I guess... They do. I, okay, so I guess like... A standard zombie takes two shots. Now, that looks like a female toilet. Can we not go in there because we're bait? Because again, like... That's really dumb. Because it's so hard to change back... Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Shoot, 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 shoot. Run, run, run. Can we... Oh my god, it's so... Sl okay, we're dead. We're dead through no fault of our own. We're dead through awful controls. Uh, I mean, at least if we can continue. At least if we can... Ah, oh, she's going to leave the room again, isn't she? So that's a waste of a bullet. There's literally no point. In shooting the zombies. I don't even know if there's anything in here to explore. Or to find. So I guess he's going to die now. No. So you can't explore a room with a zombie in it. Because if you fire your gun and it doesn't die, she just leaves the room anyway. And then you go back into the room and the zombie's back up again. What? What the hell? Oh, we're on half an hour anyway. Oh, that, 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 that's a shame. Um, yeah. Oh. Okay. This, this is going to be painful, isn't it? 
Oh my god. I mean, I knew this game was bad from all the stuff that I um read up about it, but I thought I'd give it a fair chance. You know, people just ragging on this game because it's old. You know, the the original Clock Tower is old, but it's still fairly playable and it's still a lot of fun. But this is genuinely just bad. Like, the design choices they've made are just shit. Like, we're fighting zombies without any actual real way of fighting them. And the, the way you have such limited ammo, you always take damage they didn't really put a lot of thought into how you actually fight these zombies did they the whole having to shoot the zombie once to down it that's fine that's okay but the fact you then leave the room and you have to go back into the room and then the zombies reset if it didn't die oh to quote the nerd, like, what were they thinking? It really is just bad. Like, oh. Anyway, guys, I guess, I guess we're going to keep probing. And uh, when we come back, I'm probably going to play a little bit of this off camera, to be honest, because I'm back to work tomorrow. I've recorded like six videos of this game. Um, yeah, when you're being chased by the killer, it's not that bad. But these zombies are just fucking garbage. Like, it's so stupid. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play some of this uh, off camera anyway. I'm going to learn it a little bit. Which will probably ease the frustration, because otherwise we're just going to have loads of videos, like of when I first started playing this, of, of me just getting lost and being irritated. Um... <laughs> But I, I guess, I guess the argument is that it's technically a point and click puzzle game, and there's obviously a very, very set way of getting through it. But I don't know. They've they've tried to add enemies into this this formula, and it just, ah, oh, yeah. I can see why it was universally panned when it came out. Interestingly enough, though, uh, Clock Tower 3, or Clock Tower 4, depending on, on where you're from, uh, for the PlayStation 2, actually was a universal failure. It, it totally and utterly flopped. But apparently, that was a really good game. So I'm looking forward to that one. It's totally different to this as well. But, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there anyway, guys. And, yeah, I'm done with this game for a week or so um i'm gonna read up on it i'm gonna do some research i'm gonna uh, definitely gonna read a guide because i'm at the point now where i don't want to throw in the towel because although the game's shit i do want to get through it to see it all but i don't have the time or the patience to sit here and just trial and error the whole thing through so yeah i'm going to go do some research anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed it um <laughs> uh, i was gonna say i have but i'm not gonna lie well th that's untrue it's it's all right it's it's a product of its time a very bad example of a product from its time but uh hmm. anyway thanks for watching guys as always till next time